guys, Dave. So I am standing in front of Starship or SN21 behind me and I am at Starbase Texas, otherwise known as Boca Chica Village. And it is surreal being in front of this crazy big rocket and booster behind me. I wanted to bring my three-year-old and my six-year-old out here um, from California. We took a two-week road trip hitting the Grand Canyon and different state and national parks along the way in our RV. And I wanted to give them a up close view at the massive size and scale of this rocket, but also kind of share this hugely ambitious project of trying to set up a self sustaining civilization on Mars. So, what Elon Musk is doing is he's not just trying to build a rocket that goes to the moon or goes to Mars or, you know, send some stuff. Elon is operating on a completely different level. The whole purpose of Starship is actually to set up a self sustaining civilization on Mars. What does that mean? It means Ma taking massive amounts right, of people and supplies and developing a whole host of new technologies to set up basically a whole new planet for humankind. Now, I think this ambition is actually under underrated and underappreciated. In fact, I think what SpaceX is trying to do with Starship and the civilization on Mars is probably the most um, or one of the most ambitious projects in our generation and in our lifetime. And to be here actually at the beginning stages of kind of seeing Right, this Starship prototype, you know, just being built in front of our eyes, I think is is crazily interesting and fascinating, and it's a privilege to be a part of. It. I think also a couple other things here is it shows the power of perseverance and problem solving. You see, SpaceX didn't just start a few years ago or five or ten years ago. SpaceX has been at it for almost twenty years, right, to get to this point, and there's still right a far way to go to get to Mars and a self-sustaining civilization there. And I think it shows a couple things is, one is SpaceX never gave up, right? And they had their Falcon 1, their Falcon 9, and now Starship. And each of these rockets took a massive amount of iteration. It took a massive amount of problem solving. Like we're talking about thousands and thousands of problems, right? They need to solve per rocket, right? Per platform technology. And in order to do this, they have to put right, thousands of engineers on various different problems. And they iterate over you know, just quickly over time. And it's not just, it's not just uh, technologies or engineering, it's actually construction too. It's like the process is of building these rockets are immensely complex and they're needing to you know, continually iterate, make changes and make fixes. And what you see in front of us, I think is this crazy demonstration in front of mankind where people can get, can get to observe this actually at first hand, is you're seeing this immensely, this generational, ambition in front of us, right? The self-sustaining uh, civilization on Mars. And then you see the means to get there, which is the power of perseverance and the power of problem solving, the power of just focused engineering, right? And iterating over and over, not giving up. And I think well, it's just an amazing kind of demonstration of what humans can do or humankind can do when they all, when, you know, people get together. And the last thing I want to share that kind of strikes me being out here is just the power of urgency. Right? And I think you see this through Elon's interviews, but also at the pace of innovation that SpaceX is, is pushing, is how fast they're moving and how urgently right, they're going about their business. Like, they're not taking years right, to make a decision. There's not this kind of lag of bureaucracy. Rather, it's all about getting it done, right? moving faster, because right, you don't have like, all the time in the world. And every day, every week really matters. I think that's kind of another thing I've been reflecting on a lot is kind of not just the power of urgency, but the essence of time, right? We don't have a ton of time. And to make use of that time in its best, most efficient manner, right? I think we're seeing that right here with SpaceX. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. Go ahead and like and subscribe. All my videos can be found at the audio podcast. Just search for Dave Leon Investing in your favorite podcast player. We'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.